This is not a problem. This is not a problem. I have one star court left to find. And all I need to do is scour every inch of this park again. What if there was a place with all the zip of Nuka Cola? Wouldn't that be the choo choo cheeriest place in all the world? This should mean I can now activate the workshop here and get the settlement started. Oh, I totally forgot. I, uh. Oh, I suddenly. I suddenly feel a bit bad about Gage, because he's the one who brought that here. Okay. You can now use the workshop at Nuka. What was it? What was it called? Nuka, whatever. This place. Nuka World Red Rocket. I can now use the workshop. But before I do that, what I should do is offload some of the stuff that I brought. And um, all I've brought so far, all I've brought so far are food and drink materials. Oh, it's got some. Oh, of course, I did put some elements in here. I just brought things like bourbon, um, vodka. Lots of cola. Oh, I tell you what, while I'm here, once I've, once I've got rid of these, uh, I should check to see if I can build the cola mixing machine. So I can. I can actually make Nuka Mixer stations. Well, I could if I had enough steel and rubber. And, of course, I don't have this connected to my other settlements yet. That's what I should do. I should set up... A supply line. I think what I'm going to do is set up a supply line from the Grey Garden to this place rather than the other way around. I'm not sure I actually want real settlers here, so I need to connect this place up. And I also need to carry all the junk from my apartment back to here. And that is going to take... Well, that is going to take... It's going to take a long time, isn't it? This security terminal, I couldn't open, could I? Because I didn't have power on. Is this the one? Or did I get through here? I don't think I did get through here. Nuka Cola Bottling Plant Secure Beverage Year Lab. No, I'm pretty sure this was one of... No, I, I didn't come through here. I'd say that pretty much confirms it. Right! Oh god. Is the star core hit? It could be, couldn't it? I mean, this would... We have an elevator. We have an elevator going down, probably. Maybe to the roof. Tell you what. Instead of guessing, let's find out. I, am I going up? It's... That's up, isn't it? Yes. So this entire area is... Not cleared. And it has loot. It has loot and it has the beverages terminal. And it has nothing trying to kill me. Much to my intense confusion. Um. That does not look particularly uh, scrumptious, does it? Yes, I'm going to run into the Empl employee tunnels. Oh right, this is. Isn't this where I met Oswald? No. Terminal, unlock. And what do we have this way? Employee tunnels. Isn't this where I originally... 
That is it. That's where I met Oswald over there. Yes, it is. Okay, so what have we got in here? We've got stuff to loot. Oh, dear. That was nicely what I was trying to put my weapon away and then loot the good old fashioned way. Good old fashioned way. Salisbury steak. No, thank you. So, what the hell was the point of this place? Welcome to. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's. That's it. Rem which door? Which door? Which door did I just open? Oh! Oh, right! Um, that was... Not that useful, really, was it? So, so I can now visit uh, Oswald's old hangout if I want. I'm fairly sure the... The place is cleared. I might... I might do a double check. Triple check. Actually, it's probably a quadruple check at this point. And inside the beverages, secret hideout, they had Project Cobalt Schematics. Yeah. You can now build quantum grenades and thirst zapper modifications. Okay, well, I've Project Cobalt complete. It's finally complete. Despite the treason and cowardice from my fellow beverages, I finally completed the stable weaponization of Quantum. I've triggered the military notification switch, so it's only a matter of time now. Haven't been feeling well since going into the reactor after Benel. Think I'm going to just rest here till my extraction team arrives. Oh dear. Quantum. Nuka Quantum Grenade! Okay. Well, I can now make... Even more powerful explosives. Actually, that's probably a good idea. My grenades feel a teensy, wincy bit on the weak side now. Yes, they do. All right, we've got we've got a terminal. But is that it? Is is no? There's an upstairs area. So Rex, what did Doctor Levitt say? It was like we expected. She won't be joining Project Cobalt. Didn't you tell her how important this is to the country? I mean, if she hasn't noticed, we are at war. I didn't even get that far in the conversation. She still thinks all we're doing here is making soda, for God's sakes. It's a shame, too, because she's the best organic chemist we have. I guess we'll just have to rely on Dr. Medford from now on. Wait, she's leaving? She's going to walk away from all of this? She's not only walking away from her job here, she's blacklisting herself from our industry entirely. When I told JC about our chat, he blew his top, started ranting about how he took a chance on Dr. Levitt and she's throwing it back in his face. The man's connected, Kevin. He makes a few phone calls and by November she may as well hang up her lab coat for good. Damn. Remind me never to get on Brad Burton's bad side. Okay. You wanted to talk, so talk. Don't take that tone with me, Rex. You know exactly why I'm pulling you aside. You told Brad Burton our team would work on Project Cobalt without asking the rest of us first. I don't have to consult with any of you first. I'm the lead beverage here, remember? There's a reason JC put me in charge, you know. He trusts me to make the heart. Are you even you know listening what, to yourself? I expected Jake, more see? out of you. What? Are the two of I you really best thought you'd now? jump at the chance to stop fooling around making soft drink flavors and play with the big boys for a change. I'll make this simple for you. Either you stop this emotional outburst and join the rest of us in reality, or I'm pulling you off the team. Go to hell, Rex. You'll have my resignation by the end of the month. Okay, so who, clothes, red dress. Was this her? Did she? <sighs> okay. Did she kill herself? Because basically she was locked in here with these guys for the rest of, well, her life, probably. And it didn't really sound like she uh, got on well with them, did it? No, it didn't. More bedrooms, any more tapes. 
Yeah. Oh, God. It depends on when they um, had that conversation. If it was right before the bomb. Sweet. Could have... Oh, that looks more likely to be her, doesn't it? It's... She's... Then why is the person in there got a red dress? Well, this is definitely a woman. Well, I say that. that that's judgmental, isn't it? That could be a man who likes dresses. Cotton yarn. I don't think there's anything left in here except loot. No, not to minimise the importance of loot, of course. I would never do that. And I will, of course, be taking all of this stuff with me. I'm just... Wondering if there's anything more important to find. Messages, notes, and so on. It doesn't look like it, does it? Okay. Beverage Years Terminal. Research logs. Compound L3N2 TG. Isotope sample has failed to reach stability. Internal thermogenesis resulting in sublimation of toxic fumes. Had to clear the hot lab and run a full system cleanse. Disappointing. M6N5. <laughs> sample seems to have reached the semi system error. File corrupt. Okay, that looked like quantum, didn't it? Quantum, I suppose. Strontium-90 retention seems adequate. Substance stays liquid at temperatures up to 127 degrees centigrade and doesn't create toxic vapour. Thermogenic re reaction can be achieved by manipulation of electron subfield if we can find a safe way to trigger the radioactive thermogenesis. thermogenesis then... This might be exactly what I've been looking for. Also, it has a pleasant blue glow. Quantum, again. Repeatable thermogenetic trigger has been achieved. Substance stays in liquid form after trigger, but will explode from a suitable impact. Works sort of like nitroglycerin, but safer and with a much stronger yield. Planning on showing this to Bradburton in the form of Nuka Nuke. To present to Brad... Braxton decided to call the substance Quantum, ready to begin testing as a beverage as well. It really is just boggles the mind, doesn't it? Here's an explosive. Can we make a soft drink out of it? Oh, good grief. A lot of logs. Meet them. John Caleb really pulled out all the stops on this lab. When I requested your own dedicated reactor, I didn't think he would actually have one built. Aside from the security aspect, it's going to be convenient having a bunkhouse here to sleep after late nights. JC has really put a lot of faith in us, and I can't wait to tell the others till the others see the new laboratory. We'll likely be hiring junior beverages to deal with the bottling plant while we focus on Project Cobalt. I can't wait finally I can't wait to finally stop dabbling with soft drinks and get some important world-changing work. Well, it'll change quite a few people's worlds, you know, once I shoot them with the various weapons you made for me. It's been a grueling few months, but we finally have something concrete we can show Bradburton. None of us have left the lab in the past three weeks, so I'm giving the others vacation time while JC and I go over the data with, the, with General Braxton. The sooner he signs off on the research, the sooner we can start testing. Dr. Levitt wasn't happy when I put the whole beverage year team onto Project Cobalt, but if she wants to keep her job at Nuka World, she doesn't have much of a choice. After getting the final OK on our data from General Braxton, we began the actual synthesis process. Based on our initial data, we went with a strontium-90 der derivative. It was an immediate success. The weapons we applied the new bluish payload material to was amplified well beyond our expectations, Ironically, with a slight tweak to the synthesis, we ended up with a totally stable and relatively safe additive that could give a unique a drink a unique bluish glow. I don't know why I was thinking soft drinks at that point. I suppose there was a little bit of beverage year left in me after all. Is this a once, once a drinks maker, always a drinks maker. As far as our new soft drink went, I decided to call it Quantum. To keep Dr. Levitt from quitting the team, I put her in charge of that project while Bennell and Medford continued working on Project Cobalt. We had the boys over at the laboratory in Washington, D.C. lend us a hand with the live subject testing. Isotope CE-770 and CE-772 were close but caused all sorts of problems with the test subjects. 
but when we hit CE774, it was that eureka moment we were waiting for. No deaths? Well, that's good. Only a few mild cases of dizziness and other benign side effects. A new flavor was born. Mild dizziness. Mind you, I suppose. You could say the same about alcohol, couldn't you? I was supposed to meet with Bradburton today. Unfortunately, Peyton Huxley said he was sick, but he assured me that JC was absolutely over the moon about the progress on the weapons program and the quantum soft drink. He said the test pilot program in Washington, D.C. had gone through the roof, and this could be the company's biggest seller in years. In fact, they decided to call it Nuka-Cola Quantum, using the name I came up with. I don't think the day could have gone any better. It's too bad JC wasn't around to celebrate. We know why. Is it... Ruth is dead. I had to do it. Okay. I had no choice. She was going to compromise the entire lab until I know what's going on up there. Until I know for certain that the bombs have fallen, I can't afford to open the door. Not under any circumstances. Ruth, I'm so sorry. I'll always remember you. So he killed Ruth. And then, I'm guessing, killed himself. The last two weeks have been insane. The enemy finally went crazy and bombed the hell out of us. Ruth is dead, and Edmund hung himself. Even as I type this, I'm having difficult, a difficult time processing it all. The only thing I can do is continue working on Project Cobalt. If there's a war going on above our heads, then we could be this country's only chance to tip the scales. I've had Kevin tweaking the isotope. It's still too unstable for our troops to handle. If we only had a little more time. Well, you got forever, mate. I thought Kevin was with me on Project Cobalt. We've been safe down here for over a year now, and there's no reason we couldn't keep going for at least another six months. Turns out he'd been plotting for weeks to try and leave the lab through the reactor's en emergency overflow, probably trying to sell my work to the goddamn enemy. Dude, paranoia. I couldn't let him go. I know I managed to hit him a few times with my pistol before he disappeared down the overflow tunnel. The blood loss and the radiation will surely finish him off. Serves him right. Traitor. Okay. Yeah. Total loony. And I'm guessing that is said Mr. Looney. And whilst I do appreciate the work you put into these enhanced weapons, that doesn't change the fact that you're a despicable person and a loony. Oh, and dead. Let's not forget dead. I do remember at least two other places where I had to get the power on to access. One of them was the employee area at Dry Rock Gulch, and the other one was in... Ooh, great. That stuff's really good. That reduces your radiation. The other one was the elevator in... the Star Central? Star Control? The Spaceport. There was a, that's right, there was a spaceport above Star Control, and there was an elevator. Wow, how ironic is it going to be to find that that elevator leads up or down to a place with a star core, and that's the last star core. The star core I needed when I was right there. Now, I got in this place, so I, I, I think this just opens the door now. Yeah. Right, yeah, so it goes straight inside. It's not like it goes through a corridor or something, so I'm pretty sh I might as well check while I'm here. I'm checking everywhere else for stuff, and apparently I did miss some stuff when I was here, or it's reappeared. You never can be too sure, can you? Plus one strength and endurance if you have less than 10,000 caps. Plus two if you've got less than 1,000, and... Plus three if you've got less than a hundred. That no caps rage type. There is zero chance I will ever get any benefit from this whatsoever. I mean, could you imagine not picking caps? Oh, but then you could pick more junk up. This is the sort of thing that if you really planned it well, and always kept your caps low, can you give caps to... Can you can you even drop caps? I don't think you can drop caps. Can you drop caps? I don't think that's a possibility. Let's let's try it. 
Let's... Where do they normally come under? Don't... Let's just look under all and then look for... Bit. I, don't... I don't think you can. I don't think you can drop bottle caps. Which would mean I'd have to spend 50-something thousand bottle caps. Which is, um... It's doable, but... Also, why? It's not like you could store the caps in a place and then... You know, do some looting, come back, get your caps. Alright. Well, I did loot this place. Some things had respawned. And let's just use that word because I'm trying to pretend someone came here and filled all of these. Oh, I didn't check there. All of these things up. It's just getting silly, isn't it? Yes, it is. So, oh, is night fallen? Night has fallen. That's not a problem. So, next stop. Oh God, I'm, I'm, I'm almost hoping there's nothing there. Or well, going back to Nuka Galaxy, I'm almost hoping there is nothing there because I'm going to feel kind of silly if the thing I was looking for was literally where I started when I realised I had to look for the last Star Core. Shall we take bets on whether or not the Raiders are fighting? Should we find out? I think we should find out. They're going to be... What? Okay, it's, the, it's a ride! It's a bloody hell! I just... My brain was just... Okay, I... I just ignore the Raiders! Can I... Get on that? Do I want to get on that? It doesn't look very safe. It looks a little suggestive, if you ask me. I mean, you know. Okay, how do we get... Oh, it's not a ride. It's not a ride. It's not a ride. It's, it's just... It... Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? Okay, so that's the fire coming out the back of the rocket, and we leave the fire behind. Raiders are back. Blast off. Or blistoff. I get this urge to fix the sign now. I really would like to fix this place up and, uh, you know, make a settlement of it. Yes, I would. Although, we'd have to do something about those raiders. It kind of feels like this is raider hell now. These, these raiders are destined to relive the same battle over and over again. I think I'm too big to fit on that ride. Oh. That, that, there was, where, there was a start, no there wasn't a start for here. Oh, I can turn it, I can turn it on and off. Oh. Do I want to turn it on and, do I, Sweet. do I want to save power? It doesn't turn the handy wheel off. I, 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 I kind of do want to save power. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like, you know, that's the sensible thing to do. But, um, at the same time, I, I think this part kind of, kind of land on it. Whoa, no, 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 okay. Do not try to get on the ride while it is in motion. Common sense things like that, every parent should know. There are no children present, so I get to be completely stupid. Yes, I do. Any kids who see this, do not... Is it that way, isn't it? Do not repeat my stupidity. Thank you very much. Okay, so... Star Control! Now, the... Right, the elevator doesn't come down into here. I'm parched from lack of water. Well, then let's, let's take some bloody water then. The elevator does not come down into here, which means it must go up. Okay, that is... The button was here, wasn't it? Okay. 
No, that's right. That's the button to that's the button to call it, of course. And this. Okay, then. Going up. Going up. Okay, come on, please, please, please have a star core, or don't. You see, there's 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 a win for both because if at least if no, it's in this place somewhere. So even if it's not right here, I've wandered around the park looking for it. When I could have just... Here it is! Okay, right! Thankfully, he says, somewhat embarrassed by... Okay, what, what's with the music? Somewhat embarrassed by his uh, wandering around looking for something that was right above where he started looking for it. I'm never going to hear the end of that, am I? No, I am not. Can I jump from here? Oh, I can! <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I've got it. I've got it. I've got the last star goal. I'm excited. I feel like it's Christmas. Where was it again? Where, where was it again? It was near the... Okay. When I was down here, I looked at... I'm sorry. There. There it is. I remembered where it was when I was stood over there looking for it. Right behind this bin. 35 of 35. Unlock the star control display case. Yes. It's just a paint job. I don't know why I'm so excited. I mean, I do know why. Because I've got it done. It's done. It's off my to-do list. Besides, it, it actually looks like kind of a cool... Ooh, it looks like kind of a cool paint job, actually. Let's have a look at this. X01 Mark V Quantum. That's the paint, isn't it? But what does the paint give it? Oh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna want to take this back to the... To the Commonwealth. Yes, I am. It's already got power. Do I want to use this power core? Let's not worry about that. Now. Let's not worry about this. And let's get to the light. Am I, am I overloaded? I'm overloaded. This thing isn't as pimped. It is. It is a nicer blue, isn't it, than than my Volt Tech blue? I'm actually was better off where the other armor was. It is. It is. I mean, it's it's shinier looking. Yes, I've just spent the last few hours looking for something. <sighs> I'm over encumbered. That would give me shiny stuff. Does it give me anything other than shiny stuff? Let's have a look. Quantum. Increases action point refresh speed with all pieces equipped. Action point refresh? Wait, is this... Is this unique legendary X01? Or did I just get legendary paint? What if there was a place with all the zip of milk of cola? Wouldn't that be the choo 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 place in all the world? Where the river's made of quantum... And the mountain tops are big.